Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Grassroots to Glory. Here is Salford. It's been a bit of an up and down time again for us. Obviously last time out we lost... I'm, 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 still, I'm still bitter. Still bitter about it. Just talking to Motspur in the last minute of the game. But a burger at goal in the third round of the EFL Cup. Boom, done. See you later. Cup runs over. Time to focus on the thing ahead of us. So since then it, it went downhill basically. It didn't go to plan. We lost 3-2 to Shrewsbury. Away from home. Wasn't great. Hector Ingram, you can see there again, about the goals as always. He's smashing the goals in this season. He, he's loving it still. He's still loving it. Forest Green, nil nil draw. We took on Burnley on the 23s in the EFL Trophy Northern section. 3-2 victory. Pask, Morris the goals. Lovely stuff. We're still looking good within that Northern section. Top of the group now. Looking strong. Hopeful we'll get through there. Into the next round. Papa John's Trophy could be one for this season. We hope so anyway. It'd be nice to win some silverware, wouldn't it? It's been a while. It's been a while. And since then, we got Sheffield Wednesday straight afterwards. We thought we turned the boat around. We thought we turned things around. We're on track now. We've got a big victory at Berlin 23. And then Sheffield Wednesday came and they beat us 1 0. So it's not it's not been great. And then a bit a bit of a, a bit of a paradigm shift happened. We changed to a 4 3 3 for the next game. And we won 4 2 against Millwall. And we thought, okay, things are looking better. Pollock on the score street, Hector Ingram, Enos bagging twice. This is looking good. We went back to the diamond. A 3-2 victory then against Fleetwood. And then lastly, a 5-1 victory against Hutchinson Stanley. Phillips, McKenzie, Eni's bagging twice, and Naby all on the score sheet. Which now sees us up in sixth in the league. So, win the playoff hunt yet again. It's only October. It's only early doors. We shouldn't be getting too excited, I guess. But we're going for it. We are going to go all the way. I'm aiming for playoffs this season. We've said this from the start of this season. Playoffs is a must. And again today... It's a must win. It's a must, must win. We get bottom of the table, Oldham. Sure, surely we can't lose that one. Surely no. But yeah, things are looking good. We're on the rise. In terms of goals now, we're about Hector Ingram, how he's been doing this season. You see it. Enis is up there. Naby's up there. Ingram also here. So there's a lot of goals within the team. Them three boys in this diamond are bagging the goals in for us. So we'll see more of that today. We're back to the diamond. And this is how we line up for it. Vic is in there. Dahani, Pask, Pollock, Jarai, McKenzie in that holding role. The halfback. He's been very good in that role this season. Dropping in between these two centre backs. When the full backs push up, he fills in there into a back three. Lovely stuff. Simmons. He's been incredible as Avi Simmons has. What a signing he's been. Corness. Now being in front of him. I've mentioned this front three. What about the goals? We're expecting more today as Oldham. Let's get to the match. So then here we go then. Oldham visiting us at Saw Fear today. Obviously last time you saw us, that Tottenham defeat was massive. We didn't expect to lose in the last minute. We dominated the game. You saw in that Tottenham game. But things have been very up and down since then. Obviously we lost a few. We've won the last three. We're on a bit of good form. We aren't let it fall behind here. It's Oldham on the attack here. Early doors here. Dean Lee plays it back now to Shepard. I mean, losing to Oldham would be absolutely huge really, wouldn't it for us? Bottom of the table. I don't know if they've actually won this season yet. I know they're very much struggling this season, so it's the sort of game where a win is the only thing you can get. But a win today would push us towards top four. Naby now have a free kick. We just went to fly over the bar, and they fly over the bar from Naby. Not his best effort. You can see the league table here. Well, we couldn't anyway until the highlight side again. It's Pask finds Simmons and McKenzie. Great play from Salford here. Simmons now back into Pask. I mean, our passing display at Salford has been absolutely amazing. Like This tactic has worked so well to keep in the ball. Short intricate passes, and then we find that long threaded ball through at the last second. There's Torres through now. I mean, I don't know why he hasn't squared that. I really don't know why he hasn't squared that one. He's got to put that one through the box, and you really. But at 24 points right now, a win today. Could Cisco as high as third in the league? 10 on goal difference. Third in the league. It's early doors, of course, yes. 13, 14 games of this season. But I mean, you've got to be there, don't you? You've got to try and be there for the whole season. We are looking to go up this season. That is, that is the goal, actually, for Salford. We're trying to get up now into the higher league as fast as possible in the championship. As Simmons now has a drive. Poor effort from him and poor effort from Corners again. 20 minutes in though. It's all been Salford. There's been nothing to show of Oldham so far. Playing that flat 4 4 2. They're getting nothing through here. So going to throw in now. For Chiray. Finds Corness. McKenzie into middle. Finds Simmons. Oh my days. Xavier Simmons. What an absolute belter of a finish. Out of literally nothing there. He gets the ball in the edge of the box and just smashes it home. Did not expect that one. I did not expect that one. The Aquinas gets the ball. Lays it off McKenzie. McKenzie just turns his man, smashes the top bins. Oh, you don't save those. You don't save those. 1-0 Salford. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You see there now at the league table. On goal difference, we do go straight into third. One point behind Derby County in second. Portsmouth ahead of them. 
Not a bad bunch of teams to be around. Not a bad bunch at all. Is Dahan going down the edge of the box here? 38 minutes in. Nabi crosses the back stick. And the keeper just booted out for a corner. He's got arms. Why, why is he not using his arms? Just collecting your arms, mate. Boots him for a corner, said. Corners. Pollock heads it back to Corners here, oddly enough. And he's bouncing around still here. That's Pollock. Points to Nay. Pollock again. McKenzie. Very weird play here. As Pollock goes from distance. Oh. I mean, Pollock is not, he's not known for scoring from distance. Uh, I sent it back there online from Watford this season. Not really known for doing those. Ingram. Wins it back, luckily. Nabby, oh, he's missed it. Hang on. Oh, it's going to be an injury. No. Oh, it's not serious, is it? He's A.V. Simmons. He's got a slight knock here, but there's nothing really saying what's wrong with him. Um, Things are going well. Let's just check this quickly. What's wrong with him then? Lower leg injury. I think at this point, we don't really want to risk it. We'll bring Phillips on, just to be safe. Let's not risk him. Let's not risk him. We'll keep going as that for now. But, I mean, very good first half for Salford. I mean, it should be expected. These are bottom of the table. Maybe, if anything, we should be doing better than this. If anything, really, we're at home, after all. 1-0 up only against Oldham. We need to push for a second or a third, surely. It's Phillips now. Newly onto the pitch. Dahani on the right-hand side. Got option in the box. Cannot get the cross in. It's a great tackle from Gibson. It will be a thrown out for Salford. All right, we come back now. McKenzie driving forward. Want to take to Ingram. Nabi. Enes. Great play there from Salford, but nothing comes of it. Dahani gets the ball now on the edge of the box. Ball into the box. Ingram oh, bounces around. It's going to be cleared out, though. By Oldham here. Nothing's really happening. we got just under a half hour to go here. And, oh, I mean, if Oldham get an equaliser here, the game is on for them. It's right. we got to be more careful. We've got to be more careful. Maybe we sit a little bit deeper now. Take the one. No, I mean, we should be going against Oldham and getting a few goals, you'd imagine. Clark now on his right-hand side. Cuts back. Finds Shepard. Young. Good play from Moldman on the edge of our box. We've got to be careful here. As Walker gets a bit of room, he tries to drive it. He's going for a corner, but Dahani keep. Oh, I thought he kept it in play. I guess, I guess he didn't want to. I guess he didn't want to. He just put out for a corner, mate. Why not? Keller Dodd, ball in. Cleared out by McKenzie, though. Big header from him. Fine take to Ingram. And maybe the counter on now for Salford. As the highlight ends, there's, there's no counter. Dahani, take to Ingram now. And we get another highlight for Salford here. We look very good in the attack, but we're just not getting the goals. Maybe we should bring on like, bring on the experience of Jordan Rhodes at the front, possibly. He's in his young age of 35 or whatever he is now. Enis, Phillips, Hector Ingram, sure, he's got to put this away. He's put it straight at pairs. Straight at him. What is he doing? What is he doing there? He cannot finish the day at all. It's corner out, corners. Bat stick and oh, Pollock puts over the bar. So, far two changes made now. Jordan Rhodes has come on up front now. He didn't play much so far since so joining Salford. Football. We'll give him a chance. Why not? He comes on now. Right back, Luke O'Neill comes in a right back for a little bit. Again, he's not had many minutes this season, so we give him a chance. McKenzie, Enis, big ball forward. Ingram's still on the pitch here. He's actually found the ball here, an open goal. And why isn't he shot sooner? We've put this sub in for Rhodes to come on. I think Rhodes would have had it first time, but for some reason, Ingram just didn't take the shot first time. Tried to get kick going with the ball. Why is that challenge by Young? I swear he just smacked his kneecaps in there. Corner to the free kick now because Mars over the bar. What is happening in this game here? First Enis, open goal, could have scored easy, didn't bother. Players getting kicked in the kneecaps. It's, it's all going wrong. It's all going mental here. Absolutely mental. It's a local derby between Salford and Oldham. And again, there's another injury. Enis now has gone injured. Oh. I swear old matters to kill players though. They've came out here and they're just trying to injure our team. We're out of subs, so off he comes. Rhodes then up front. By yourself, mate. All on your ones. Good luck to you, Jordan. You're not very young now, are you? I mean, how old is he again? He's 34. He's 34 and he can't run. He can't, he can't run at all anymore. He's, he's not in the best of shape anymore, is our Jordan. Not in the best of shape. But I mean, we're narrowly going to hold him to a 1 0 lead here, but it looks like it's Oldham. A game which we probably should have won by a long shot. But I mean, 1 0. It's, it's three points in there, Dad. It's three points again. I say this now. Hold him on the attack here. Hart. Keller Dunn. Walker. If I'm getting equaliser here now. I mean, we're down to 10 men. It wouldn't surprise me. It would not surprise me. It's Vickers flexible with ease. Out to Pask. Don't give away the ball now, boys. O'Neill. Forward. Finds Nabby. Rhodes. And Rhodes loses the ball. Whose idea was the sign of 34-year-old Jordan Rhodes, really? Whose idea was that? Probably me. Probably me. Well, I am the manager, after all. Hart. Drives forward. Again, ball in. It's looking very dangerous here. I'm not going to lie. Very dangerous. I'm 
Done. Ball in. Oh, Headed clear by Pollock again. Out for throwing. Surely that's going to be the last highlight of the game now. We're going to hold on here. Shepard with the ball. Ref, whistle. Come on. <whistles> Blow it. It's been 95 minutes. Oh, there we go. Just about a narrow victory for Salford. Not our most convincing this play. I mean, we've had a lot of chances. Good possession. We've looked good. But, I mean, we need to be scoring more than one goal against Oldham. The bottom of the league. They've not had a great season. We've got two new injuries to look out for now as well. We've got to see what's happening with them players. Enos being the major one. If we lose Enos, we could be in for a lot of trouble. He's been pinnacle so far this season for us. You can see from the stats here, 7 and 13. He'll be a massive loss. Let's hope... It's nothing too serious. Guys, thanks again for watching as always. If you enjoyed the video, welcome to subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.